If you ever submitted an item to the Steam Workshop, most probably you've invested time in creating an image for your thumbnail, and after feeling proud about it, you submit your work only to find someone with a much catchier GIF thumbnail. You ask yourself, but how though? The Workshop only accepts JPEG or PNG files. Well, in this video, I'll show you how. I'll be talking about submitting for Counter-Strike, but this method works for all games that accept Community Workshop items. And before I begin, if you haven't done so already, please take a tiny moment to subscribe and also check out the membership perks of my YouTube channel. Now let's dive in. First thing you need is obviously a GIF. Whether you're capturing your moving item from the game or you created an animation in Blender, you need to turn your captured video or images into a GIF. There are several ways you can do so, but for me, I always use a site called easygif.com. This site accepts many formats including JPEGs, PNGs, MP4s, as well as many others. Drag and drop your files there and wait for it to get to work. If you drop still images instead of a video, then you'll have the option of setting the delay time. The lower the value, the smoother the GIF. I usually set it to something like 5. If you drop the video, then you can set the size and frame rate options. Higher frame rates mean smoother movement, so I suggest setting it to the maximum. When you're done, click on make a GIF or convert to GIF if you're working with a video. When submitting the GIF as a thumbnail, you need to make sure it's below 1 megabyte. Otherwise, the workshop won't accept it. The size currently is way above that tiny threshold, so we need to work on the result we got. Let's start by cropping the video, which gives us the bonus of zooming into our item and removing all unneeded crap. Click on the crop option and set the new boundaries of the video. This reduced the size significantly, but not enough. So let's head to the resize option and reduce the size of the GIF. Don't forget that thumbnails in the workshop are very small images, so it's okay to resize the GIF to something very small. It's just something that will tempt viewers to click on our items, and when they're inside, they can see bigger and better images of our items. So here in the resize option, we can reduce the size by playing with the width and height of the image, but personally I find it easier to play with the percentage field. I'll set the value to be 50, which means that the tool will reduce the size of the GIF to 50%. Clicking the resize image will give us this result, which is below 1 megabyte, which means that we're all set. Now that we have our GIF ready, we need to find a way to upload it to the workshop somehow. That somehow is called Steam CMD. Steam CMD is a tool that was developed by Valve and has several capabilities, one of which enables us to edit our submissions with GIF thumbnails. You can read more about it and install it by going to the official Valve software site. I'll leave a link in the description. Download and install the tool as described in the document. Before we use the tool, we need to prepare a few things. First, we need to create a file with an extension called VDF. In this file, we'll add the details of the game, the published workshop item, and the path to the GIF file. The file should look like this. I'll add a template of the file in the video description so that you can easily copy-paste it. The app ID is the ID of your game. In my case, I'm uploading for CS2, and I know that the ID of CS2 is 730, so I'll set the value to 730. The published file ID is the ID of your item when you publish it. You can find it in the URL of your workshop item. We'll keep that field empty for now because we still haven't published anything yet. And finally, the preview file is the path of your GIF. So just copy-paste the full path of the file with its name and the .gif extension. Now you can save the file anywhere you want, but for me, I prefer to save it in the same folder of the Steam CMD for easier access when I need it later. As we saw a moment ago, we need to have the item published before uploading the GIF, which makes sense, otherwise we won't have anything to update. So, whatever game you're working with, go ahead and publish your item. And in the meantime, use any image as your thumbnail. I suggest that you set your item as hidden until you complete the process. When you're done publishing your workshop item, open the CMD, go to the Steam CMD folder and type Steam CMD. First thing we need to do is to log in to our Steam account. Please note that after you log in in the Steam CMD, you might need to log in again to the Steam client when you want to play a game. It happened to me once and took me an hour before I understood what had happened. 
So to log in, type log in and add your Steam username, your password and the Steam Guard authentication code which you get from your Steam app on your phone. Now before we proceed, we need to update the VDF file we created earlier with the published file ID. So I'll go to the workshop item page and copy the large number at the end of the URL and paste it in the VDF file and save. Now we're finally ready to upload that GIF thumbnail of ours. For that, we run the workshop build item command with the path of the VDF file. I put the file in the same Steam CMD folder, so all I have to add to the command is the name of the file with the VDF extension. I hit enter and wait for the success message to appear. And now I can refresh the workshop item page and celebrate my success with the new thumbnail. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, then please take a moment to vote yes on my cooling system item as well as subscribe to my channel and consider becoming a member which will give you an early access to my videos, access to members only videos and of course access to my discord server. Until next time, take care and see you soon.